I tried to do this vlog the other day, but yet again, my iPhone was a prick to me and cut me off, so I'm going to do it today. I don't really feel like doing it today, though, because I don't feel well. I have some womanly issues going on. That's, that's all I'm going to say. I just took some ibuprofen for it. I think that's what it, what, what it was. So I, I'm trying to ignore the uh, the pain there, but enough about that shit. What I wanted to talk about is like meeting famous people and stuff like that. What I said yesterday or this morning, I don't really fucking remember because everything is a fucking blur now apparently, is that if I ever met anybody, it doesn't matter if it's somebody famous on YouTube or somebody famous in the TV or movie industry here, I would not be able to function near them and I would probably be too scared to even walk up to them and say hi or something like that. I would probably say I love you and you're awesome and shit like that and then I'd probably get myself all fucking worked up and then I'd probably pass out or start acting like a nervous jack like a like a nervous idiot that's probably what's gonna what would happen but being in my case in my shoes that's probably never ever gonna fucking happen because apparently there's this thing called fucking distance and I have a fucking thing for British guys that don't even fucking live in goddamn America they come over here, but not to the area where I fucking live. And like I said before, I would not be able to function around them. No. Hell no. Mm-mm. No. Yeah, it'd be cool and awesome and all that th and, and stuff to, like, see them and stuff like that. But I don't think they're going to come to where I live. I mean, I'm wishing and praying, like... A motherfucker that somebody who I personally like would come to this area that I fucking live, but it's not gonna happen. I have little scenarios going off in my head about this person and me meeting them and stuff like that, and it's just, it's, ugh, it's never gonna happen. And those scenarios make me feel even worse and just upset. Never. It's 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 just more than what than one person by the way. It's just more than one person. And I would not be able to function. If I had an autograph book, I'd be too fucking scared to even walk up on this person and say, Can I have your autograph? Or or like can I get a picture with you or whatever like that? I would just fucking break down and just be a nervous wreck. I s no. Mm -mm. No. I would be scared. I'm sorry. I'm just. I. I, I just wouldn't do it. I'd be like, oh, oh there, there, there's that guy. Hmm. Yeah. He. He's finally in the area where I live, and I can't even go up to him because uh, I'm fucking scared. I mean, oh, you never know. Yeah, they're all fucking nice on fucking TV and shit like that, but you never know. You never know. I mean, seriously. <clears throat> That's what I'm thinking. But most of them, most of the guys that I, the celebrities that I like and stuff like that, the famous people I like. Seem fairly nice, but you never know. That's pro. You never know if they're being nice just for the fucking camera or when they're being interviewed on a TV show or something like that. You never know. But I don't know. I really, I, I seriously don't fucking know. <clears throat> I really don't know. All I know about these people is that they are in movies or in TV or on YouTube. I really don't know. I really don't know. I really don't. I s no. I, I, w I, I wouldn't have a chance to fucking know if if they were nice or not in real fucking life or something like that because I would to be I would be too fucking scared to meet them. I would even talking about it right now is making me fucking nervous and shit like that because uh I'm a nervous person. I'm a worrier, twenty four fucking seven about everything under the goddamn sun, and this this right here would worry the fuck out of me seriously. If I was, like, in front of a celebrity, I don't care who the fuck it is. I don't care if it's a fucking celebrity or a YouTuber that I just don't fucking like. I don't care. It's, it's still a fucking celebrity, and I would get nervous as shit. <clears throat>
nervous as hell. I really fucking would. I really fucking would. Seriously. <clears throat> and I think some of them know that their fans get nervous. Sometimes, too. And I know some of them say, you know, if you see me in real life or anything like that, come up to me and talk to me and stuff like that. Or whatever. Nah. I'm not gonna come up there and talk to you. No. No, sir. No, no. Mm -mm. No. Because I'm nervous. Nervous as a motherfucker. Now, I'm perfectly fucking fine with just watching them on YouTube and having them know that I don't exist or watching their movies or watching their TV shows. I'm perfectly fine with that. I can love the fuck out of them. I just can't fucking meet them. Worth a damn. Because I would, uh, I get, I would get so nervous. I would get like an upset stomach. I would get that feeling in my throat, like right here, that makes me sick and stuff like that. And I'd get all warm and, and itchy and having itchy feelings and all that shit and stuff like that. The whole fucking nine yards. I would not be able to function at all. I am sorry. I am sorry. Especially if it's somebody named Benedict Cumberbatch, okay? Seriously. Have you seen him? Oh my fuck. I mean, I would not be able to function around that goddamn man. Especially if he has his Sherlock hair. Or something like that. Of that nature. Or if he has his fucking ginger hair or whatever. I would not function around that motherfucker. No. Hell no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. And he could be nice as fucking shit. But I would be so fucking goddamn nervous. I wouldn't even be able to speak. No, sir. I would probably pass out if I was in the... If I seen him in a place near me where I lived and shit like that. I'm... Just, ugh. No. No. And I could just go off on a motherfucking tangent about this stuff. Because it, it it's... How I probably would... It, it, Oh, I can't even fucking fucking speak right now. Seriously, see, this this is why ah, uh, I would not be able to speak clearly or function or anything like that. It sh it just would be fucking hard. I swear to fuck. Like if one of them just popped up randomly on my doorstep, which wouldn't fucking happen. Only in my goddamn dreams would that motherfucking happen. But if if they did, and I opened up the door, I would pass the fuck out. And, um, the floor that I would pass all, out on oh, is a hard one, so I'd probably be concussed and all that shit, too. And hopefully, maybe they would be the nice, cool person that they are, and motherfucking open up the door, walk up into my house, and be like, are you okay, and shit like that, or whatever. But, mm, nah. That, that whole scenario thing of the people coming to my door that are famous and shit like that, especially if they're motherfucking British, no, that ain't gonna happen. What are they gonna do? Just pop up out of nowhere? Hmm? Hmm? Huh? Just, just appear mag by magic all the way from fucking Bristol or London or any or whatever. Wherever the fuck these guys are from. Whatever. Where, wherever they be, wherever. But that wouldn't happen. Now, if they brought, like, Let's see, the best combination would be if they brought food with them, along with them, because I would like the food, mainly it would be probably good if they brought pizza or something of that nature, and themselves, and shit like that. Now, <clears throat> I know I talked about this motherfucker a lot, but I just don't give a fuck anymore. I'm going to talk about him all the fucking time now. Because he don't fucking know I exist, so what? He ain't gonna see my videos. But, here's how I would do it with the stripping if he showed up at my front door with just, just a pizza. <clears throat> I open up the door. Oh, actually, you know what? I'd be here, walk by, see him at the door, he rings the doorbell, probably waves, something like that, pizza... I let that motherfucker in. I go unconscious for a little bit, and then I wake up and remember why I motherfucking passed out, and then I'd be like, mm, eat pizza with him, and you know what? I have a motherfucking Xbox. I have a controller. If he brought his, I would motherfucking play video games with that motherfucker. I, I guarantee that he would be 
a better video fucking game player than me, but eh, whatever. Get the chance to motherfucking play games with the motherfucking stripping? Okay, yeah, okay. Mhm. Mm and then, yeah, of course I'd be an awkward as motherfucker. I would be awkward and shit and stuff because I am obsessed with this motherfucker like 24 fucking 7. I am so obsessed that I try to stop watching his videos because I know once I see his motherfucking videos and his fucking face and see his fucking and, see, and hear his fucking voice and shit like that, I just relapse and just go back into that session. <clears throat> I think I'm turning into one of those crazy fangirls. Not too crazy, but like wanting to know everything about him. Like, I know a couple things about Benedict Cumberbatch and I was obsessed with him. Don't know jack shit about fucking Harry Styles. All that I know about him is he was on motherfucking X Factor and he worked in a bakery and shit like that. And all that fucking shit. But, any, no. I don't know. I was just keep saying to myself, if only I fucking knew them in real fucking life and were friends with them and knew them and lived where they fucking live, which would be fucking awesome living in like fucking Bristol or something like that, that'd be fucking cool. <clears throat> that would be awesome, but it ain't gonna happen. That whole scenario with them coming to my front door, no, hell no. Motherfuckers do not know exist. Motherfuckers would not give me the motherfucking time of fucking day and it just, ugh. Yeah, I just turned this into a whole shitstorm of a rant there. I wouldn't say it was a rant. It's just me talking about something and shit and all that shit and other shit and shit and shit. Yeah. <clears throat> so, yeah. None of that would happen. As much as I would like it to motherfucking happen, and I get my hopes up that it might motherfucking happen, it, it's not gonna happen. Like, for instance, today. Like, right now, I'm getting my hopes up while I'm talking about this shit. I, I want to see him roll up in my motherfucking driveway, okay? With a motherfucking pizza. Let's just say fucking Domino's. Domino's. With, like, pepperoni and mushroom and shit like that. Motherfucker would not do that. Motherfucker is in Bristol right now, and I'm pretty fucking sure it's fucking late right now. So he's probably, I don't know. And the fact... <clears throat> yeah. We'll just go with that. We'll just go with that. He's, no. What is he gonna fucking do? He's gonna have the sudden fucking urge to buy a plane ticket, come to New York, and just be all up in my shit. And stuff like that, and being friends and playing games and shit like that. I mean, come on. I know I know how to play video games, but I, I, w I would not be on his level. No, mm -mm, no, I would not be on his motherfucking level. He is just too motherfucking good, and he would probably find me boring and crazy and all that shit. <clears throat> it's just, ugh, celebrities, man. Celebrities. It, it's, just, it, it's just, ugh. I know I probably will never meet a goddamn famous person in my motherfucking lifetime. No way. Mm-mm. Not at the motherfucking rate I'm going. I still live in my fucking parents' house. I have no fucking job, no fucking driver's license, nothing. Jack shit. I don't even have my own fucking money. Jack fucking shit. Nothing. So, going to Bristol or whatever or going to a venue or whatever the fuck they call it and shit to meet him or even take a fucking picture with him or get an autograph with him no that ain't gonna happen so I'm just gonna leave it at that so I'm gonna go now I feel disgruntled now it don't matter this is never gonna happen never ever ever see I just I just can't stop talking about it alright I'm gonna stop talking about it right now cause uh, the more I talk about it I get upset and shit like that and stuff so I'm gonna go upload this shit, and I'm probably gonna do another one after this one, and stuff, and talk about a different cop topic, or whatever, <clears throat> and stuff. So, yeah. Okay. Bye.